Hello ladies, welcome back to It's Time for Tea. My name is Princess Nay, and this is my femininity journey that I decided to share with you. So before I get into the today's topic, I want to say um, rest in peace to George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and Ahmad. Um, honestly, I hope all those families reach some type of peace at this time, um, and I hope the black community reach some type of peace and liberation sooner than later. So um, first things first, I want to talk about why I do not recommend 50-50 relationships for feminine women. Um, honestly, 50-50 relationships just never set right with me. Um, 50-50 relationships meaning to me is that a man will only be able to half love you and you will only be able to get half of a man. You see, when a man sees a woman, mainly more masculine women going online, promoting 50-50 relationships and saying how um, they got it like that and how they should be paying half the bills and all this, more high value men will see that and laugh to themselves and will agree with you. But they will go towards a feminine woman who actually allows the man to be the man. You see, before you get in a relationship with a man, he has brothers, cousins, friends, and homeboys that he can reach out to if he comes to a period of um, struggling. He should never reach out to his woman and say, hey, babe, can you pay my rent? Hey, babe, can you pay my light bill? Hey, babe, can you take out the trash? Hey, babe, um, can you take me on a trip? That's not how it works with high value men. High value men Got it like that, okay? Um, they are not out here trying to finesse women out of money because they have money. They're not out here um, trying to um, be in competition with you. They're not trying to do any of that. Um, they want a woman who is not only feminine but stands on her standards and knows who she is. You see, what women fail to realize, and this is something I have came across, you can use your femininity against any man in the world and control his every action when it comes towards you. Now, I know that may sound like manipulation, but please do not take it that way. You see, be to become a pedestal wife and to be like his um, son in his day, you have to... Um, use your femininity against him and let him be the man, okay? When it comes to paying bills, when it comes to providing, let him do that. You see, in um, high-value relationships, it's normally always 70-30, not 50-50, 70-30. The man loves to provide. Let him, ladies, okay? When it comes to paying for dinner, let him. Now, you can always offer, but a high-value man would never take from you. He would say, no, babe, I got it. Let him do it. Never ever had the attitude like, oh, I got it like that. Let me pay. Mm -mm. No, let him do what he has to do. Um, let him be the man in the relationship. You know, let him treat you. Um, what I also want to mention also as a feminine woman, never ever think that you have to cook, clean, and do his laundry to impress him. Um, one thing I never want feminine women on my channel to, um, uh, to adapt to is thinking you have to be a servant. That's not how it is when you come a pedestal wife. You see, a pedestal wife is the wife who sits above all type of wives. She's the wife where the husband will literally jump, jump and make sure she is straight in all aspects. He will make sure she, um, does not stress about anything. He's taking her on the trips. He's flying her on vacations. He's buying her nice things. Um, he's just thinking about her and he's going getting her roses, brighten up her day, despite whatever type of day she's having. That is the type of wife you want to be if you want to be with a high value man. Um, again, Never ever think you have to cook, clean, and do a man's laundry. Listen, he was feeding himself before he got with you. He was cleaning before he got with you. And he definitely was doing his laundry before he got with you. Let him continue to do that. And you do your own laundry. You cook for yourself and stuff like that. I do not recommend feminine women actually um, cooking or cleaning or anything like that until six months after you... Um, or into a relationship. And mind you, within the six months, a man will know if he actually wants to be with you or not. You see, in this generation, a lot of men like to say, oh, a bond is better than a title. That is just sugarcoating that I'm with you for everything, but I'm not with you for the title. 
I'm never going to give you the girlfriend title and I'm never going to marry you. That's what that actually means, which means he could drag you in a relationship three to five years and not officially be with you in that way that he's actually mentally all all the way into you um, until he actually meets the one that he actually wants to be with. Um, So that's usually what those mean by um, a bond is better than a title. You never, ever want to give wife duties to a boyfriend because that's all he is. He's all he's nothing but a boyfriend. Um, A boyfriend needs to provide for himself. You know, men will go online and say, oh, I ain't being with no woman who can't give me a 50 50 relationship. He's basically telling you, I cannot provide enough for myself. I need help. I need a roommate. And that's what he's looking for is a roommate to move in with him, help him pay his bills, take out the trash and be a masculine uh, person just along with him. Now, he wants sex from you because you are a woman, clearly, but he is looking for help. And if a man can't help himself, that's probably not a man you actually want to be with. You want a man who can provide. You want a man who's high value, who got it like that. You know, that's why um, every man who come across my way, um, I don't even engage with because I can already foresee what type of man he is. He wants to lean on me versus leaning on his own two feet. And I don't need a man like that. I need a man who can stand on his own two feet and um, look at me as a prize versus just an asset. You see what I'm saying? Um But um, I also want to talk about social media. Now, I see a lot of women going online and they find that it's okay to post a boyfriend within two to three months. I just do not agree with that. Um, As a classy feminine woman, you need to wait um, to post your boyfriend um, and be a little more sheltered about your relationship. I can understand he may be treating you right and you just... Um, feel so good because he's flying you on trips and all this but just wait it out and say you know about six months in to see if he's even posting you you see that will let you know what type of man you're dealing with because see men who usually do not post women so quickly online those are normally men who are not sure about you yet not only is he not sure he's probably don't want to upset an ex that he probably still talking to or he probably don't want to upset his other options now, sometime a man could post you too quickly and trying to um, make an ex jealous, or he could post you kind of fast and he's just proud to be with you. So you have to weigh your options and see exactly what's going on and just take that risk. Um, but just be very careful about you posting him on social media. It's not something that's always necessary. And um, that's how a lot of 50-50 relationships prosper because he's seeing you doing all the work and he's just doing the bare minimum. And you never want to be with a man who's doing the bare minimum. Now, for me, I do not recommend shacking up before marriage. And again, that's because you never, ever want to give wife duties to a boyfriend because that's all he is, a boyfriend. You know, I see a lot of women who talk about all the sexual activities they indulge in with their boyfriends. I see a lot of women who um, talk about um, moving in with their boyfriend and they doing all this. And it, it just... It just makes me laugh because it's like they'll be broken up in six months and now either the girlfriend is stuck with all the rent or the boyfriend is stuck with all the rent. And both of them can't afford the rent because they were too busy trying to be roommates. So that's another reason why I do not recommend um, shacking up before marriage. Another thing about being um, in 50-50 relationships, never, ever, never, ever invest in a man more than he invests in you. And that goes along with loaning a man money. Again, a man has friends, homeboys, uh, brothers, cousins, his mama, his daddy, whomever in his life before he met you. So if he needs money, he can reach out to them. He never, ever wants to bring that type of stress to his woman that he is not a man that could provide. I'm telling you, um, high value men will never bring this to you. Not at all. Those are low value men who will bring this type of um, attention to you. They wouldn't even bother you with no type of financial issues. Believe me. Um, I see a lot of women who allow uh, their boyfriends to drive their cars. Um, If he needs to drive your car, that's um, sometimes a low value man unless he live in like a bigger city like new york and you know new yorkers mostly don't have cars and whatever but he shouldn't even be asking to drive your car okay um that's a low value man because normally a lot of men now in this generation are comfortable sitting in the passenger 
passenger seat while the woman drive him around everywhere. Those type of men you want to stay away from. They are definitely, definitely low value. Um, again, low value men would never, ever um, want you to do all these type of duties as a girlfriend without asking you to be their girlfriend. Um, you have to literally ease your way into when it comes to relationships because believe me, um, you never ever want to do the most as a girlfriend thinking you're impressing a man because in his mind, he's going to say, oh, well, if I got to just do the bare minimum and get sex from her, I ain't never got to ask her to be my wife or anything like that. No, you want to put a man in a position to, to know how to treat you. You see, you set the tone for how a man treats you, not the other way around. Remember, you are the prize because you bring the man up from a piece. You can bring the man children and you can bring the man just everything else that he couldn't bring you. Yeah, he may be financially stable, but you never want to come to the table either, you know, just being broke. Um, so never, ever um, be with a man who cannot provide, who cannot, um, you know, basically overall be a masculine man. Um, but overall, I want you to understand this. Um when it comes to relationships in this generation, never ever be with a man who does not find it important to court you. Um, that's another way how a lot of 50-50 relationships prosper. The woman is not being courted by men anymore. Um, the man feel like he can just take you to Applebee's and Red Lobster and that is it. And now he feels he wants to come over. No, you need to at least date the man 10 dates before you allow him to come over. Um, he should not be trying to rush to get to your house and you should not be trying to rush to get to his house. Um, you need to at least be on 10 dates um, before you invite him to, into your personal space. Um, you need to at least know a man for a year before you go on a trip, my opinion. Um, you need to at least know a man um, six months before you cook for him. You need to at least know a man for a few months before you actually buy him a real birthday gift. Because, see, a lot of men will get to the point where you buy him this expensive birthday gift. And then when it comes to your birthday, the gift is very shallow you see what i'm saying he does the least for your birthday but you don't spend all this money for his birthday i do not recommend nothing more than a card on a man's birthday um versus the actual real gift but um overall that's just how i feel about 50 50 relationships and why i do not feel they are um for feminine women um there's plenty of other things you know why i do not recommend but overall um be very careful about what you want out of a man um, on social media and what if you're being very vocal like me I talk about being a wife then becoming a mother um, all the time so men around me know what type of tone I'm set and what I want out of life um, I just will not ever disrespect myself and go you know a way that I just don't want to go but I hope you all enjoyed this video and until next time I will talk to you later Mwah.